Hi guys, so I just finished washing all of Baby L's newborn to three months clothing and I have it divided by stacks. This is newborn, that is three months, back here we have zero to three. Um, that is all that it's going to be hanging on his closet rod. Everything else I've just kept stored away in boxes to save room since space is limited in his closet. And um, I, I can already tell, for example, I think for the zero to three category, I'm going to be a little bit short. So I'll probably just buy more as I go. Um, I am going to divide this video of one video for newborn, one video for zero to three, one video for three, because I am filming from my iPhone. I'm not using my computer at this time for a good reason. <laughs> it's not working out right now. So just keep a lookout for the other ones. And this is going to be just kind of like a baby haul of what I have for him to wear so far for each category. Um, little beanie hats and socks and mittens and stuff like that. I will just kind of skim through that whenever I have it, my nursery all organized and I'll show you guys. So um, all this will be will be pretty much clothes and um, shoes and stuff like that I'll do in the nursery tour. Okay, so let's get started. This one's going to be for newborn. Um, like I mentioned in my uh, pregnancy update just recently, all of these clothes were bought at a resale shop, with the exception of the ones that were gifted. Those are brand new. However, I found some brand new ones with tags still at the resale shop as well. I did not pay more than $5 for a piece and that was like maybe two or three pieces that I might have paid between four and five dollars for. Everything else was anywhere from 25 cents to I think two or three fifty. That's what most of my price range was when I bought everything. Um, and everything is in like new condition. No stains, no tears. So this is how I was able to, this is what I was able to find and it's great for me because babies grow out of clothes really, really fast. So I didn't see, in my budget, I didn't see the point in going out and buying everything absolutely new. Most of the, most of everything is Carter's or Gymboree, uh Children's Place, really, really good brands. Okay, so this is going to be my newborn stash. This is a Carter's piece. And it says, hear me roar. And most of the things that I got for him are onesies. I want my baby to be very comfortable. So, and you can't go wrong with onesies. This one is a Gerber onesie. And I know it says zero to three months, but they run really small. They actually match the size of newborn. So I put it in my newborn stash. It's another Gerber piece. Carter's. Again, more Carter's. And I'm pretty much going to stop saying Carter's because almost everything I pull is going to be Carter's. So unless it's different, I'll tell you guys. And a few of these are long sleeves. Gerber. Gerber, if I stay quiet that means it's Carter's, <laughs> this is Gerber's, Gerber, oops, More Gerber. More Gerber. More. And most of the Gerber ones are not too fancy. They're more for, like, you know, being at home. And, um, I guess this is his sweater. Yeah, this is Carter's. And, um, I know it's going to be in the middle of summer 
but babies do get colds. So if we're like at a doctor's office or we're going to be in an air conditioned situation for a while, um, that's kind of why I went ahead and got these. Not to mention, like I said, I probably paid maybe a dollar for this. So I thought it was cute and I should have it on hand. This is Carter's brand new. This was part of a gift set. So you'll see a few with a little whale on it. And I think they're adorable. I love this color. And I really like the no sleeve one since he is going to be a summer baby. More whale stuff. This one was a gift, and I believe it's a Walmart brand. It has little feet. Which, we'll see if... I kind of stayed away from buying stuff with little feet. Um, if I did, i try to get ones that looked kind of bigger than this, and this was a gift, so I didn't buy this one. But I have a feeling my baby's going to have big feet, so... I try to stay away from buying something that might not fit him at the feet. Because I don't want his feet to, like, curl up and stun its growth. I don't know. That just sounds uncomfortable to me. And this is another Gerber piece. More Gerber. Going back at Carter's. And this is a little sleeper with uh, mittens. The ones with no feet. And I really like these and I try to get as many as I could find because I can easily just, you know, pull this up and change the diaper. And it covers him up kind of like a blanket. And here's another newborn little sweater. I believe this is Carter's as well. Yes. Go. And they're not too terribly warm either, so like I said, if we're somewhere air conditioned, it should not be too warm. This one is Granimals. And I can't remember who carried this brand. I know, I think Babies Are Us does. Back to Carter's. This is another long sleeve. And I love, love, love this. I believe this is a gift. It's from... Actually, no, I think I might have gotten this at the resale shop, and it's Oshkosh. And I think it's so, so cute, and it's short sleeve, and perfect for summer. I live in Texas, by the way, so it gets boiling hot in here. And these are cute newborn little shorts, khaki shorts. I don't. He does not have a lot of pant and shirt outfits, or pant and wonsie outfits, by the way. Um... I, need, I would ideally like to find some that are not too expensive because obviously it looks cute. Um, so yeah, mostly, like I said, it's just onesies and sleepers. So he only has a few little pants. Babies are us. Another little whale outfit. Carters. And this is adorable. I can't wait to put this on him. It reminds me of his dad because he wears stuff like this. Um, you know, kind of like the arrow, aeropostal, or apostal, however you say it. 
type of look in Abercrombie, so he's probably going to match Daddy when he wears this. Another Carter's onesie. And this is Carter's as well, and it's another example of Little Feet. I did buy this one, and I think it was 25 cents or something, and that's why I decided to just risk it and see if it fits him. But to be honest, I don't know that this will fit him as a newborn unless he's born early. It's really tiny. It looks more like preemie to me. is Carter's as well, long sleeve. And this was a gift. It is Carter's. And it has pant and short sleeve. Really cute. And this is an example of other pants that he has. This is probably the only other pair of pants besides one other one that came with an outfit. And it'll probably be too hot to take him out in this, so it's probably going to be just for being at home. So I do keep it pretty cool in my home. And this onesie is a gift from the owner of the Ella... The owner, I'm sorry, the founder of the Ella Foundation. Uh, you guys can look her up online. Um, her story is on there. And it says, Future Writer of Wrongs. And in the back, it has Ella, the EllaFoundation.com. So you guys should totally check that out. And she has a few newborn and children's outfits, too, for the cause. Um... And this is another cute one without sleeves. This is Carter's. And this was actually part of his baby shower decoration. Um, if you guys have me on Facebook, I should have a picture on there of the table at my baby shower. They're um, in a close line with some close pins were these Carter's onesies that were dyed by um, dyed in blue by the host uh, who threw the baby shower for me and it had his name spelled out in a few onesies and this was just an extra one that she had and I think they they shrunk a little bit so instead of zero to three months I think this will fit him as a newborn and I love that color so and then these are some really cute overalls I believe they're Carter's yes they are Really, really cute. Another onesie. And this is just like that other blue one with the cars on it that I showed you that was a gift. Okay, so got one more. Another Carter's onesie. I will go ahead and upload this video and go ahead and look out for these two piles. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye.